One of my favorite things about computer science is the world of creativity. My classes right now, we are building what I would call Atari games. Very basic games that kind of get students interested. It's moving once it gets back to 100, just so you know that. Maybe not everybody's going to be a programmer, but everybody will have an opportunity to sit at the table with a programmer. Regardless of what field they go into, computer science is going to help them open those doors. One of the greatest things about Kevin is his commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. Do you have issues that you're trying to tackle? Kevin's one of the people you want on your team. He doesn't say, I, I can't do that. You don't hear Kevin say that. We got Sophie, Laura, He's in second. He's one of the yeah. Girls Who Code adds to me bringing equity to computer science. The goal is to overrepresent those groups that are underrepresented in computer science. As a minority myself and not having many like outside opportunities of girls who want to be able to learn STEM careers, it's a big advantage to people like us. So welcome everybody. It is uh, Computer Science Education Week. Last night they had a night of code which families came in. There was over 200 people here. And Girls Who Code decided to sponsor the event. Girls are in charge, basically. I facilitate the event. I think these nights are important to uh, come together as a Keystone Oaks family. Let's go together. And I think he has pretty much made it his goal to open it up to everybody for them to come in. You have a night, a family night, where you bring all those people together. Now you have a system in place where the kids start coding in kindergarten. And it's so exciting to see five-year-olds, six-year-olds, seven-year-olds knowing that they're gonna to continue to grow over the next seven, eight years. By the time they get to high school, they break walls. And I feel like if my work impact other people throughout the state, throughout the country, my children will have a place that's more comfortable for them where they can grow. I wanna be a teacher because my daddy's a teacher too. And he's a good teacher. I just think he wants to succeed. He was like that in football. He was like that in the middle school. It's just a drive within him. I certainly would hope that most teachers could see Kevin's commitment to what he does and Kevin's commitment to his, his students. I grew up without a father. Mr. Gallagher was, you know, a huge inspiration and a father figure to me. When I first had him, uh, I would always be late to class but he found out what made me tick and what made me think and, and he never really gave up on me. If it wasn't for him, I probably would have never graduated high school. Each one of those has five values averaged. It's a graph of an average. I see kids who may have been struggling start to succeed. I see the kids that succeed start to excel to other levels that they never thought of. That's your paycheck. That's where it really makes you feel like you made the right decision, that you're in the right field and that you continue to make a difference over your whole career.